Hmm. Peace, God. I'm so. I hope you're blessed. <laughs> hope you're blessed. I hope you're feeling really centered and really seen. Today, I wanted to speak about um, metaphysical farming. It's an idea that came to me recently. Because you know how people be like mind over matter, right? And like we're spiritual beings having a human experience, right? And like everything is mind and like we have the creator's mind or whatever. You know how people be saying like these ideas and concepts a lot. But I feel like sometimes um, either we don't have a... Uh, either people don't believe it. They're so focused on other stuff that they don't practice it. Or they don't have a template or a visual to embody it. So, I'm realizing, right? Alright, so before I'm going to start this, I made up this thing. I say, and every second is a synapse, and every sentence is a synapse, and then every seed is a synapse. Now, you're thinking, what do I mean? What do I mean in every second is a synapse, right? So, like, synapses are basically like the stuff in our brain that, like, shoot off, like, um, connections, right? And I've been, like, in the books I'm reading, like, they t talk a bit about, like, neurochemistry and all that. And, like, how, like, the brain is, like, wired and how, like, especially with, like, traumas, how, like, you could kind of be wired uh, and programmed, like, a different way. The same way that you would, like, program your phone or, like, your laptop. You could also, like, program your brain. So, if you were wired a certain way when you were young... Most likely when you're older, you're going to keep the same type of like habits. It's kind of like a, it's a defined pathway in your brain. And I say in every second is a synapse because I feel like um, life and time are very like intimate, right? So I feel like how we spend our time is more or less how we spend our lives, right? And I say even every sentence is a synapse, right? Because I read a lot of books, more than like anyone I really like know, right? And it's funny because even if you go, you know how when you like, for example, you're watching a video, you're watching a movie, and, like, you go away from it, then you come, like, back to it later, and, like, you kind of re like remember it. It's kind of the same thing with, like, books. I could go, go away from it for months. I could come back, and then the synapses for that specific sentence and that specific chapter just light up again in my, like, brain. So that's why I say in every sentence is a synapse. And I say in every seed is a synapse. Because I'm realizing, like, every single thing we put our energy to, we're planting a seed into it. Every single thing we speak, every single thing we feel, every single thing we think, we're literally planting a seed into it because it's like a thought you know what I mean like every thought is like a seed in a sense and I'm, I'm being a lot more careful with where I plant my seeds because I'm realizing the things I say what I think how I feel it literally comes back to me like it literally comes back to me so if I plant a seed in like a very toxic environment right I'm gonna get a very toxic fruit if I plant a seed in a very beautiful environment I'm gonna get a very beautiful fruit and I feel like it's such a simple idea, but it's actually, like, true. And that's why I'm, like, I'm being a little more cautious of, like, what I consume. Not only in terms of diet, because I'm already, like, very meticulous in that. But in terms of, like, videos, in terms of pictures, books, audios, podcasts, like, every single sentence I hear and read, it, like, is why you're, it's, like, programming you in the moment. So I'm realizing... If I'm saying these things and if I'm feeling these things and I'm thinking these things and I'm consuming these things, they're literally creating my reality. I feel like people have this idea that reality is a concrete thing. Reality is not concrete. Like the reality that you're in, the reality that I'm in, and like it's totally different. And the world that you're in, the world that I'm in, is like totally different based upon like how we perceive it. You know I mean? Because I perceive a different world from you based upon my like, because we're basically a sum total of what we consume through this life. You know what I mean? So how I perceive what this realm is and like where you perceive it. Are drastically different things so we don't really live in the same world because other people because I, I realized this before right I don't only like with certain things in my life it's not that I don't physically resonate with like the action or the end result or the representation of it I literally don't even resonate with the unseen and the unmanifest and the thought of it I'll give an example like before I was debating my friends. It was two separate like conversations, but that was a very similar energy. I was debating one friend about the whole thing of like um, she said me like calories and like blood tests, and I was debating my other friend about like supplements and like nutrients, right? And it's like it's not that I don't. My thing is I feel like I'm not educated enough to like really speak about those things because I haven't studied it right thoroughly. But my thing is I don't even mess like and even like the vaccines as well. It's not that. I don't even mess with like the physical manifestation. I 
I don't like the idea of it. Like, like in my head, I'm, I want to know like the person who originally did the test on calories. I want to know where the name came from. I want to know where he came or she came from. I want to know like the studies they did. And the same with vaccines, even not, not even Corona. Like, where did these things come? Like, who made the syringe? Who made the chemicals? Who made the idea? Who made the laboratory? Like, I'm in the like I'm going back to like its origin point, to its genesis. I don't. People, I feel like a lot of people don't mess with like the revelation of things. I don't mess with the genesis of things from like before even manifested here. I don't mess with the person who thought of it, and I'm like that's where I'm like really at, like the unseen realm. Because it's like the physical is like uh, I don't mess with that, but it's like I'm really trying to like deconstruct and like break down the before even came here. I'm like, where did this come from? Because everything we see in this physical realm came from the the unseen realm. So I'm like, in the unseen, where did this come from? And I feel like. There's so much things that we just take on physically, right? And, like, we never really question, right? And I, like, that, it really disturbs me. Because I'm, like, we're just practicing this faith or belief or diet or doctrine or, like, so whatever you're doing. If it serves you, cool, right? But I feel like we all should all take a bit of time to study, like, the genesis of it. And not only the physical genesis of it, the unseen gen genesis of it. I mean, because I feel like there's multiple layers before it came down to like come down to this realm. Give me a second, my dog wants to come in. Give me a second. Yeah. Alright, bro. I'm recording a video, bro. It'll be weird. But um, yeah, it's like I feel like there's multiple Genesis points before it even comes down to this realm. So that's where I'm at. And like I say metaphysical farming, right? Because literally every sentence we say to other people were plants. You know how they be like, oh, you could day or day i'm planting a seed in that person you're literally planting a seed in that person like right now like i'm taking my seeds that come from my mind and i'm planting in your mind and like i hope it blesses you i don't want to put no like toxic seeds in your beautiful like garden in a sense but i feel like a lot of people just take on these seeds from these random places and they put it in their mind if you wouldn't let people put trash in your mind don't let people put trash in no if you wouldn't let people put trash in your home don't let people put trash in your mind bro and that's why i don't even I really be in my own realm. I don't even like to consume. Like, even if it's good content, I don't even like 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 to consume it. Because if it's not about my vision and my direction and my purpose, it's like I don't even have. I don't even want to spend the mental, emotional, nor physical energy on it. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not even trying to spend none of it on it. And I feel like I love this quote by Eleanor. Well, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not even gonna say the because it's like the other thing I'm realizing is sometimes better to like just take the message and not even say the teacher. Because sometimes when you hear the teacher's name, they like they have like images. There. Anyway, this quote I love. It goes um. Small minds talk about people, average minds talk talk about events, and great minds talk about ideas, right? And it, you see, it's like, it's a, like, it goes from, like, the physical to, like, and that to higher thought. It goes from, like, the physical to, like, the thought realm. Like, the physical realm to the thought realm. Because, like, the people are just thinking about the physical things, right? If you're speaking, like, event, oh, it's come more so, like, it's it's a mixture of the physical and thought. But if you're speaking about ideas, that's all in the mental. That's all, in, like, the metaphysical. That's all in the spiritual. That's all in the unseen. So, I like to be around great minds. I like people who speak about, like, ideas. I like people who speak about, like, concepts. And the thing, I have to have, I'm, go I'm going, I am bringing more people in my circle who could, like, really um, embody my ideas and really, like, um, play it out. Because both in, like, human design and, like, astrology, they have, like, these different ideas about, like, the people who, like, originated and the people who ended. Even in, like, the business realm, it's the same thing. Some people, like, originated the idea and some people, like, like live it out. You know what I mean? So, like, I'm had to be around more people who actually, like, could, like, live out the, like, um, ideas I have. I think that's pretty... Is that it? Yeah, I may just keep this here short. Just to get to the point. Just be very careful of what you say. Be very careful of what you consume. Be very careful of what you create. Because you're literally going to have to come... It's going to come back to you regardless of how, when, who, what, where, when, and why. And the thing, alright. That thing. When people speak about karma, right? It's funny because my mom be speaking about like karma, but in like a very negative tone she'd be like oh yeah that person was going to get the karma because they did this and bad i don't even just see it as like a physical something bad for what happened to me that is not even what i'm scared about you feel me it's like in my own mind like i feel my karma instantly like i remember yeah it was yesterday two like days ago right i was trying to like kind of like hold hold something from my friend right because i was kind of like scared to tell him and after a while like she like just kept like poking it and poking it i realized yo 
I literally cannot even sustain certain energies. Like I like I, I try to act all like tough and like yeah, and it's like it just doesn't work. It, like it literally just like I cannot do it. Like lying and just like trying to hide stuff and not tell the truth is like my you you would you you see it in my face. Like I like I'm the it's not even possible for me. And I'm realizing like I kind of gotta because I feel like. I feel like I let like societal, well, not not when you say that, like the images and ref, reference points I have in my mind, they aren't always serving me. You know what I mean? And I realized I had to kind of rewire and reprogram and deprogram so much, so much. You know what I mean? Like I was saying this before, even I feel like the transition from an employee to like business owner is like a bit harder than the transition from like meat eater to like vegan, at least for me. You know what I mean? Realizing like how you really have to change your whole mentality and lifestyle because you're entering a new world you're entering a new realm of like existence you're entering a new perception of reality you're not even the same human being no more you feel me because the way that you think and the way that you feel is not the same and i realized that's not only with business but in like love and like relationships and like in every aspect it's almost like you gotta like it's almost a surreal process you constantly have to like build yourself up but then you constantly have to like chip away at the old it's like you're in a constant state of like reinvention like non-stop and I feel like some people they just get stuck. It just gets stuck in a like vibration. Like me and my friend was speaking about it yesterday. Even with like clothing, people get like stuck. Like they just stick with like one fashion, one friend group, one this, one that, one job. They're so like mono, like one singular of everything. And like I'm not I, I can't keep myself stuck. I can't do it. I'm realizing like energetically, I feel like it's better if it's kind of weird. It's not weird. It's natural for me, at least. I feel like energetically, I, I am a lot more stable when I have multiple things going on and I have multiple people around me rather than this one. And I just have to be aware of like what sees a plan. And also with conversation. Like, that's one thing I love that my mentor is teaching me. I didn't realize this before, but texting is literally a skill set. Like, I thought, like, oh, yeah, you just text your friend. Text your friend. No, it's like actually, like, there's the energy you put into a text on how you think about it. You could literally, like, shift the conversation and shift the focus and shift the dynamic and people will talk to you to what you talk to them about so i'm realizing like if i want certain things i have to speak about those things more even then, like so say we're having a, a like conversation right and then there's multiple topics that could go on i was like uh, hey chantel how is your day going, right? Oh, and how has your family been? Those are two seeds. <laughs> Those right there are literally two seeds to branch off into totally different conversations. And I realized like like a question is like an access point. You know what I mean? Because a question is like you could literally branch off. It's like every like I, I, I like to visualize everything as a tree, right? So every conversation is like a branching off is different like roots. You feel me? And sometimes I realize that it's better to prune things. It's better to just be very singular at times like if you want to specifically focus on a specific field or thought frame it's sometimes better to prune the other stuff and just really focus on like your goal and your vision in life and in conversation as well like because there's a lot of things we could talk about right but it's better to just like focus it and this is the other thing i want to say some people and some things it's not the physical i said this before but i'm gonna like re like reinforce it in like a deeper form it's not like the physical form that I have a issue with. It's how it makes me think and how it makes me feel. Example, data naps, right? So people are like, some people will love them, some some people hate them. A lot of people just say it's not worth, right? It's not that I don't like, like the like, the app or itself or like the people or whatever. It's not like that's well, yeah, I'm not the biggest fan, but I don't like the way that they make me think about women. Like they make me perceive the world. And they make me perceive women and perceive relationships and perceive sex in a drastically different way. And I feel different. It's crazy because it's literally just an app on your phone, right? But it literally is programming your... Like, every time you touch your phone, every time you touch your laptop, you're literally being programmed. You think that you're programming a computer, but your computer is actually programming you at the same time. And it's funny because I'm actually learning coding, but I just feel like it's a... It's a reciprocal and like symbiotic relationship almost you feel me like i'm programming it and it's pro 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 programming me because at this point like these phones are an extension of ourselves so and, like you watching this is like you're taking on my like energy and my and, and my vibration and then it's like 
you're being programmed with like my thoughts. But it's like it's cool if the thoughts serve you. See, like there's like there's no problem with being programmed. It's a beautiful thing. But is it serving you towards your vision? And that's what I'm realizing. Like certain people, certain thoughts, they literally don't serve me. And certain beliefs, they literally don't serve me. Like if a thought and belief does not serve me in the moment, I drop it. Like there's so much stuff I used to believe when when I was younger. That just I'm like, oh yeah, that, that doesn't serve me. Drop, 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 drop. Cause like if I'm trying to advance to a new stratosphere of being, I can't keep having the same thoughts and beliefs and mentalities that I did before. Like before I remember having this conversation with my dad and like when I was young in high school. In high school I was very like break down Babylon, fuck this da, 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 all of that, right? And then my dad was like, Bro, you like are you crazy? Like you need money. Like are you like like what's up, like, what's up with you, right? And like back then, go with debate on that. But now that I'm older, I'm like, yo, he's not capping, bro. He's not capping at all. Like all the stuff I wanna do either money is correlated to it or can make it happen quicker. So if I have the mentality of fuck that system, I'm going to be poor my whole life. What the fuck? Like, you, you just got to let go of certain things that don't serve you no more. You feel me? But, um, yeah, back to, like, the dating app. I don't like the way that make me think about, like, women and relationships and, like, intimacy. You feel me? Because I feel like um, there's kind of, like, layers to, like, intensity, right? So I feel like... There's a service web and then there's the, the dark web. We're only speaking about like the service web today. There is social media, there is dating apps, and then there's porn. <laughs> That's literally the strategy. So I feel like dating apps is like the, the like level before porn. And like I've been stopped watching porn like years ago because that really messed up the way I viewed like women and sex and intimacy. So I'm glad I got away from that. But even dating apps, it's almost like a a covert or like a gradual like. Is like I'll, I'll, I'll give an example if you watch anime. So they have like. Hentai anime, which is like full blown porn, right? And then they have like Ichi, which is like, um, like kind of like this, like really cutesy and really like, in, like it's kind of like, it's kind of like a light version of it. And that's how I feel like about dating now. So it's like, there's no point of that, bro. There's no point of that. I don't feel like those ideas will just like serve what I'm trying to create in the future. At least not now. But yeah. And every sentence is a seed, and every second is a seed. Um, well, I, 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 I could say to that too. They like kind of like they all like they're all like cross corollary, like synapse, seed, sentence, and second. They're all like kind of could be unified in a different way. But I'll say in every in every seed is a synapse, and then every second is a synapse, and every sentence is a synapse. So be very careful about what you say, your sentence. Be very careful about your seeds, your thoughts. Be very careful with your seconds. Thanks for your time. I love you. I hope this resonates. I hope you feel in clarity. I hope you feel in bliss. And yeah, love you. Hi, key.